Despite warning, warnings from state police that they would be out in full force cracking down on impaired drivers, dozens of people are now charged with driving drunk over the Labor Day weekend, and police are also investigating several deadly crashes in Rhode Island. My way to Sue's reporter Eric Halperin joins us now with the new details. Eric. Mike, numbers for the entire weekend aren't out just yet, but so far state police say there has been one more DUIRS this Labor Day weekend than last Labor Day weekend. Throughout the Labor Day weekend, Rhode Island State Police have had increased patrols out on the roads to try and keep people safe. We all have to work together on the road. We all have to cooperate on the road. From the start of Thursday through 8 this morning, those patrols have netted 11 DUI arrests. This comes after a push against impaired driving the agency made last week leading up to the holiday weekend. According to state police, last Labor Day weekend through the end of Monday, there were 10 DUI arrests. We need to make these roads safer. Sergeant Cunningham spoke with reporters Sunday after three deadly accidents on state highways in a 12-hour span from Saturday night into Sunday morning. While nothing is a guarantee, he says if people follow four main tips, most of the problems on the roads would be solved. And that's don't speed, don't drive impaired, wear your seatbelt, and don't be distracted. State police also tell us they issued more than 200 citations from Thursday through 3 Sunday afternoon. That includes 153 speeding tickets, 60 seatbelt violations, and 11 violations of the state's hands-free law. And we do expect to have updated numbers from the entire weekend once it's all wrapped up. I'm Eric Halpern, Eyewitness News.